So we've set up the environment with these square looking tiles and I want something a little bit different now this time. I want something that's not a square looking one so I can show you things that you can use, different types of colliders you can use other than the, the, the box collider that we've been using. All right, so let's go back to our art and go to items and find rock, the rock image. Let's bring that into our project. Okay, change that. So this is an object that looks, it's not quite a square looking object, so that's great. Let's bring that into the scene. And if we go to the 3D view and go to the wireframe, you can see that the, this is the shape of the mesh. Right. And uh, let's go back to 2D view. So if I simply click on Add Component Physics 2D and select Polygon Collider, let's extend that, you can see that the collider is basically the shape of the mesh. Right? So the collider is basically, the system will try to match the collider to the shape of the mesh. And uh, you can find out a bit more about the collider here. One thing you can do is by holding down shift, you'll be able to change the shape of this polygon collider. Say for example, you want this to match a little bit better. If you click on the middle part of a line, then you can add another point. And you can also remove points if you hold down shift and command click on the point, then you can remove it. Now if you're on Windows, it's going to be Shift and Command, uh, I mean Shift and Control to remove a point on this collider. Right, so that's the Polygon Collider. Let's remove that for now. Another thing you can do is go to Let's uh, reposition this thing first. Let's say if the rock is down here. Right, so we don't really care if, if there's a collider below a certain point. All right, let's say if it's just like this, then we just want kind of a collider up here. What we can do, especially in 2D, this is, this is quite unique is you can add components, physics 2D, and you can add an edge co collider, which is essentially a line. Right, and then when you add an edge collider, you have to manually change the shape of it. Otherwise, it's just going to be a straight line. But here, we've created this edge collider that's of the shape of the upper part of this rock. So if we press play, you can sort of see how this will work. You can see that our character is going up this edge here. All right, so it's it's not quite a box collider at all. It's a the collider is basically this shape that we've defined. So that's the edge collider and it's, it's pretty cool. Let's, um, let's use that. So I'm going to make that into a floor and make that a bit bigger. What I also want to do is go back to the rock and put the pivot point at the bottom. Notice that when I when I do that, they sort of messed up the edge collider. So I'm going to have to do that again. Actually, I'm instead of using the edge collider, I'm just going to use the polygon 
Collider, which is automatically generated for you. I kind of want this rock to go behind the floor, so I'm checking which sorting layer these tiles are, so it's in the default layer, and the order is zero, so I'm just going to simply change that to negative one, and I'm going to put that somewhere there. Okay, 